Okay, here it is. Been waiting for this for, well, been waiting for this for a while. Just cannot wait to get inside and play this game. What I like is out of the box, uh, packaging box, came this letter. A little thank you from the designers and developers of this game. Really nice. Uh, and then a little heads up about their next game coming. The Star Scrapers Orbital from the designer of Terraforming Mars. Holla. One to definitely look out for. So let's have a look what is inside Hard City. So let's take out the stretch goals first of all. Love Games by Hexi Studio. Oh my word, yes. That is one solid police car right there. Fantastic stuff. Yes. I'm not a painter, but... Uh, I know some people who are. <laughs> Good times. Some of the other hairy game lords. Dave the Grey, Aussie Phil. Get involved with that bad boy. Look at that. What else is in here? We've got three other miniatures in here. Look at that. Fantastic. <clears throat> Great quality. There she is. Looks to be a... I don't think that's a gun. I think that is a... Uh, a camera in her hand. A recorder. Uh, <clears throat> camcorders. Remember those? Yeah, after all, this is from the 80s, this game. Uh, well, set in the 80s. Uh, not from the 80s. Set in the 80s. Here is uh, some police commissioner dude. And then we have this guy. It looks to be the stuntman. Love the detail on uh, these minis. And the quality feels really, really nice. Okay, just a few cards in here. Excellent. Now these, the quality of these cards is really nice. Some nice weight to them, really nice feel. Here he is, head honcho. And here she is. Great stuff. And then we also have, by the looks of things, uh, there we go, a player card. Oh. Player Matt. Great. <clears throat> okay, let's have a look at the main box itself. Now then, oh, let's have a look at this. So here's what would be on the back of the board if there wasn't this, which is actually going to take... So it looks like it's a rooftop. And what I like about this... Um, as in with Monster Slaughter, the box becomes part of the play area. I like that a lot. So, uh, as you can see, it's a 60-minute game, one to five players. Um, <clears throat> look at it. Bit of blurb there. Bit of, uh, well, bit of everything you want to see, really. Uh, and the evil dude himself, Dr. Zero. With some fantastically sharp thing fingernails. Wonderful. Right, let's get inside this game. Wow, there is a weighty rule book right there. But I'm sure it will have everything in it ah! that we need. <clears throat> Who's, who is who in Hard City? There he is, Dr. Zero. We've got officers, civilians, and then mutants. Uh, I think that this is a one versus all game. Everything that you need to know there on there as well. Good times. Beautiful colour going on. Hello to be continued. Ooh. Ho, 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 ho. Right. 
let's have a look at this here. Here, by the looks of things, are the kind of scenario cards. So, here's the number one, Mayhem on the Streets. Uh, kind of beginning around, telling you what you need to do. Uh, the, what the board looks like and the placement of uh, where the mutants spawn, etc. Um, cool stuff. Ah, and then on the back there, the setup. Tokens required, victory conditions. Excellent. So that's the first one. Then we've got the second one. Good times. Same kind of style there. Third, toxic revenge. Excellente. Ah, cool. A boat. Bloody sunrise. And then the last one, zero hour. Great. And they look like that they get, especially that one there, look at all of that special rules. It looks like they get harder and harder. Ah, cool. And there's the different layouts as well on each kind of scenario like that. So then we have uh, these here, which I think are the player sheets. What we got? Yes, here we go. Look at these. Hello. He certainly is the ugly one. So here we go. Look, one versus all age sheet. So these are just kind of like little helpful sheets to do. Good times. And then, ah, oh, that's got solo and the co-op. Great. So there we go. There is one versus all. There's co-op or there is solo games on this. Here are some of the uh, different characters that you can play. Good times. Excellente. And then here we have the punch boards. So look at the thickness and quality of that punch board. There is an army truck there. Oh, looks like it's containing some toxic waste. Ah, great. Flip it over and you've got a school bus. Good times. Uh, what else is there? Uh, pink Cadillac. Nice. Ah, speedboat. Good. And then the police car. Ah, cool. There he is, under there. Someone's run over the Hulk. Great stuff. Well, I'm guessing these are some kind of player ting. <laughs> Ovs. Oh, well done, Andrew. Right, what else have we got? We've got an alleyway. Flip it over. It's uh, some kind of like crossing board thing there. Car. Bottom of a car. There's plenty of donuts to be seen here. After all, it is a uh, cop thing. Some civilians, a dog. Obviously, the dog's going to always survive. Or is it? Hello. Evil green thing. So, lots and lots of punch boards there, like these uh, manhole covers. Nice, like that. Ah, here we have the boards. Welcome to Hard City. So, we've got a kind of city or a streetscape thing here with the roads. Um, and then, ah, a beach. Excellent. Like the double sided nature on there. What have we got on this one? So, this is kind of like con continuation for the other board. That street scene. Uh, wow. <laughs> that is crazy. And then maybe the same there for the beach scene. I'm not sure. Good times. Brilliant stuff. So you've got three boards that probably all fit together. And then, oh, hello. A whole load of baggies for all of those uh, punch things there. Couple of these for some standees, maybe. Boom. So this is one out of what looks to be three of the different uh, kind of like your class, your classic mutants. So you've got this dude here. Nice. There seems to be a mutant rat. Would not fancy picking a fight with this dude. He looks massive and scary. We have a mutant girl. Wow. Yes. Then we have our different uh, characters here. So we've got...
this cup. Oh yeah, look at the detail there on the uh, the the braid on her hair. Love it. Holla. Yes. Love it. Amazing with those kind of uh, nightstick bat and tings areas. Yes, love that. Great detail on these minis. Got a good some good weight. Here she is. Amazing. It, the army has turned. <laughs> Brilliant stuff. And then here we go. Yes, mate. Look at the size of this bad boy. With his massive hand. Wow. Even a um, barrel, chemical barrel in there as well. Good times. Amazing stuff. Right, what else have we got? We've got some cards here. Let's just have a little look at the cards. Dog, fantastic, bless. Oh, wow. The quality of the card is so nice. It's got a, it feels almost like a plastic, plastic feel to it. Really, really nice. Kind of feels like you won't need to sleeve these. Fantastic. That artwork is just brilliant. I love it. Loads of stuff going on there. Wow. Cannot wait to play this game. And then we've got some other little things here. This, uh, ah, okay. Zero Corp cards. And then these are tother, tother cards. Good times. We've got those there. What else in here? Looks to be more of those kind of zero type cards. Here we go. So more zero corp cards going on there. And then here. What's ah like what they've done here. Marvellous. Some other games cave in. Great stuff. Slyville. We've reviewed this as of Cave In as well. Sliver, what a great game. This is coming to retail soon, I think. Uh, brilliant stuff. Just so, there are some other things that you will find from Hexy Studio. One of these cards here. Ah, interesting. I have no clue what these cards are. <laughs> Good. Cool. Okay, so these go with the um, the different scenarios that are happening. Okay, cool. Ooh, and then there's some kind of clipper board. Nice. Okay. Great stuff. Love the look of this game. Really nice quality. And then we've got some great uh, dice there. I'm going to be rolling those blanks, aren't I? Because I'm absolutely bobbing as a rolling dice. And then we've got some little cards here. That I guess are items. Again, the quality is just really nice. That kind of plasticky feel to the card. Um, aceness. Yes, and there's all the different kind of abilities and stuff that the each character can do. Fantastic. So, this is it. A huge box full of awesome goodness from Hexi Studios. Cannot wait to get into this game and give it a review. It's been Hard City. <clears throat> Thanks for watching.